the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm diving into a story from Bleeping Computer about a flaw in Intel CPUs. Let's jump into it. All right, so right off the top, I'll say this flaw was discovered by security researchers and has not appeared in the wild yet. I don't want to be a sensationalist channel and seem like I'm trying to freak everyone out, but this flaw is interesting as it deals with the very fine details of the hardware, which to me is always interesting and fun to dive into. So with that, let's get into those details. So modern CPUs have privileged memory regions that are only accessible by the operating system or perhaps some very specific software that the operating system allows to access that area of memory. These regions hold things like passwords, cryptographic keys, and other things that you'd prefer to keep as secure as possible. But according to researchers in Switzerland, it's possible for a regular non-privileged process to access these memory regions by exploiting a race condition in the Intel branch predictor. Branch prediction is a performance technique where an if-then structure is predicted before the result is definitively known. Obviously, modern software has tons of if-then logic, so it happens all the time. This helps keep the instruction pipeline flowing and improves the performance of the chip. The flaw is that the branch predictor in these Intel chips is not synchronized with instruction execution, which creates a window of opportunity when a switch between user mode and kernel mode occurs when the wrong privilege level is associated with the process. This creates the opportunity for a user mode process to access the privileged memory regions, which is obviously not good. The researchers demonstrated the flaw on Ubuntu, but since this is a hardware level issue, I have to imagine that this is also possible on Windows or any other operating system running on these Intel chips. The good news is that the researchers informed Intel of this issue back in September of last year, and Intel has issued a microcode update to fix the flaw. The bad news is that the fix does come with a minor performance penalty, but honestly, it seems small enough that you probably wouldn't even notice it. And I'll just reiterate that there are no known exploits of this flaw in the wild, so the threat is still rather manageable, but it probably would be best practice to patch any Intel machines that you do have running. So there you have it, pretty interesting flaw deep in the hardware of Intel chips. Hopefully you found this as interesting as I did. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.